That's one right there. Stop Fubu. right there. Yeah, yeah, the football, football bar. I mean, well, I think I feel like we knew. I mean, seeing the way that he was gonna do it is interesting. But I feel like everybody knew he was gonna go after like Drake's blackness. Yeah, I feel like that's no, like the sure. main thing. Yeah. Oh, for sure, for sure. I'm glad you mentioned that. Right. That's not really like super surprising, but to see in the ways that he did it is cool. Yeah. Oh, I don't. I don't like that. I mean, not I'm cool, but like, I, I, I don't. I don't. I don't like that, bro. And, I, I don't and, like and, and rap beef. We've allowed yeah. Drake to be in this space. Yeah. Drake has conquered this space for mm-hmm. so long. Mm-hmm. He's worked with every single prominent black artist, mm-hmm. and not one person has ever questioned his blackness in that sense. Yeah. Not one person has ever tried to take his 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 card. <laughs> not n- never. But now it's convenient. I do not like this race angle at all when it comes to the and, beef shit. And rap beef? I don't like it. I thought nothing was off the table. Yeah, it's not bro. that it's not off. No, I'm not saying it's okay. a low blow. I, yeah. I believe everything is on the table when I it's bet. rap beef, honestly. Yeah. So I'm not saying it's it's too low of a shot. Yeah. What I'm saying is, y'all, y'all are like, like it's played out. Yeah. You're saying, you're saying like when, when Kendrick desperate. did Poetic Justice, you ain't hear that from him yeah. type shit. Right. Yeah, like when Kendrick saying. did okay. anything with him. Okay. Anything okay. with him. I would also add to that, not to, not to cut yeah, you yeah, off. I feel like sometimes we could, we've done, we're human, right? For sure. We've all met people, right? And what we thought of them originally kind of changes over time. Yeah. I'm not shooting him any bail or anything like that. But to your point, though, like I could definitely see how someone could see, have a relationship with someone and be like, Yo, I thought homie was this, but it's actually this as I'm learning. But yeah. again, when you have, let's just call it a 15 year career at this yeah. point, and you've worked with everybody, you've done everything, and now it's like convenient. It's just convenient to try mm-hmm. to take that shot to try to, it's almost like a divide and conquer type of situation where I want to pin the biracials against the blacks, against the white. Like yeah. now you're trying to pull that card when it's convenient for y'all, mm-hmm. when y'all no longer need. The, the white Canadian black guy yeah. to say nigga on your track, Facts. right? Well, Kendrick never needed, but maybe more so like a Rick Ross, right? Kendrick didn't necessarily yeah. need it, but he's I think from Drake, his like right. personally for me, yeah. I, I was always in tune with who Kendrick Lamar was, but right. when I really was like, oh wait, let me pay attention a little bit different is when I heard his interlude on Take Care. So for someone like myself, for somebody who may not have been um, invested or aware of a Kendrick Lamar, I think that's a huge spotlight for somebody at that time to be have a whole song on Take Care, and it's just Kendrick Lamar, and he's talking about his history, his relationship with Drake at that time. Right. So, yeah, maybe they haven't been working with each other as recent. Maybe they had a few features in the past, but if you felt like that now, right? Yeah. You, he his, his skin tone ain't changed. Yeah, his voice ain't changed. His mother and father hasn't changed. But he's also hasn't done anything with him in a while. No, for sure. Right. Yeah. But yeah. Again, like just so you, you knew yeah. who he was and what he was back then when you was on tour with him. And I could hate you for that. All right. Yeah. But, but that, that's mad. Like, that's almost mad two faced. Because if I think, uh, I think what they want to say now is, yo, if you felt like that when, I, when you were up and I helped you come up. Or maybe not even help you come up. Just but, you, you've always known this about me. So but now, a lot can change in like 10 years. That's what so I'm like, trying to say. Like, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, originally, when you meet someone, right? Mm-hmm. You probably just have a, a depiction of who they are in your brain off of what they've shown you. It's, it's, mm-hmm. The relationship is fresh, it's new. Over time, you might look at your decisions and look at it as a mistake. Like, mm-hmm. oh man, wait, I didn't so, know he was that. So either Kendrick is genuinely like his, his biracialness, Drake's biracialness really bothers him and he genuinely means this. That could change. Like, like what Alice is saying, like a lot has changed over the past decade. He really is like, oh, Drake is not really for us or whatever. But... Or he could be just using this mm-hmm. in the beef right now. Mm-hmm. But then you you have to keep that same energy, which y'all know I'm a big fan of just keeping that same energy. Mm-hmm. So if you're going to apply it to Drake, apply it to J. Cole, apply it to Lotto. Okay, that apply is it to true. Alicia Keys, I will say that is true. Apply it to DJ Drama. Apply it to the people, to everyone. If that if, if this is going to be your stance with Drake. The only pushback. It's different. It's different, y'all. Mm-hmm. Let me tell y'all what is different. I spoke last week about how, you know, Canada has a ton of greats, right? Mm-hmm. Celine Dion, The Weeknd, et cetera. Hip hop was started by black people. For sure. I, I, I don't want to go down this lane. This is just <laughs> what I'm trying to give you out a perspective. Let's do it. The perspective of a black rapper, mm-hmm. right? Like at the end of the day, they always going to feel like they have more, um, just a closeness to the whole Absolutely. genre. Absolutely. You know 100%. what I'm saying? And of course, you're going to let other people in. For sure. It's, it's not no issue like that. But if you were one of those rappers and you understand where this was birthed and its origins and stuff mm-hmm. like that, 
you could definitely understand why. Like, all right, cool. I see what you just keep that same energy. No, 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 but that, that's like yeah. ab- like every yeah. sentence agreed. But I. I do see what Savon mm. is saying. It's like, okay, why can't, why are you coming after Drake when like there's mad other like biracial people? Nah, like, does, well, he, does Drake, he also it, think it, his way about Drake, them? What Drake, what Drake is, calls himself number one. Okay. Right? Okay, so okay. if okay, you black, if, if you know you all black. Oh, you're like, oh, he's not about to have that number see one spot I'm as at? a biracial person. See what like, I'm getting and, at? And two, yeah. his beef is with Drake, not with Lotto and everybody else that's also and and um and with everybody else that's also mixed race. But when you attack or, or when you target somebody's ethnicity, nationality or region, you are isolating that person's fan base or 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 uh, demographic it's just beef. by doing that. I know. So <laughs> if you're going to say yo you can't, you're, you're you're a white boy now because okay. you're black and white, now you can't control who feels offended by that. Like what if J Cole's like, "Nigga, what the fuck you talking I'm about?" I'm not going front though. It's beef. Niggas are supposed to be offended. No, I'm with you. <laughs> I'm with you. Okay, 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 I'm okay. just saying uh, it's just real convenient <laughs> for niggas like, okay, okay, just, okay. Keep like already, just like it's already split. Just keep the up. same energy as all of them. If a nigga don't get offended in beef, just keep just keep the same energy. Like I don't want to See you next you, to Alicia Keys no more. Who? Nobody. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Not Alicia. But Alicia Keys is a beautiful R and B songstress. We talking about. White. We talking about. Lotto. But we talking about rap and being number one. We're talking right. about black and or, or biracial no, no, no. people that's, within the culture. That's what you talking about. A nigga like Kendrick is not talking about a, a, a Lotto. He's not yeah. talking about. Le- he's it's talking only about. Uh, Drake. So you saying he's talking he about, can't be number one? I'm not saying that. I'm saying a nigga like Kendrick, that's what Kendrick, Kendrick, Kendrick means. And he alludes to it in okay. his diss track. You, know, you see what I'm getting at? Yeah. Okay, two, that makes a little side. more sense to yeah. me, though. Okay. Now I was just going to say, and two, the sides are already split. So if I'm going to split it, let's split it down the middle. You know and I mean? before you press play, you ended when he said pacify. I wanted to read that bar real quick. He said, I make music that electrify him. You make music that pacify him. The double entendre went over my head. It's up until the second listen. Because yeah. then he then goes on in the next bar and says, I could double down on that line. But spare you this time. Pacify alluding to the wait, song title. And wait, wait, read that other part. He says, uh-huh. he says, uh, that's random acts of kindness. Yeah. So he say, yo, he doing him a solid without really going down that yeah. pacify double entendre road. Uh-huh. Uh, the name of the song is called Euphoria. Drake is executive producer of the song Euphoria, where it's, which is centered around college kid, kids. I mean, high school, high school kids, kids. Show, yeah. uh, doing like drugs, doing sex, things like that. Reminiscent of Degrassi, but not all the way there. Shout out to HBO. Yeah, shout out to HBO. <laughs> where, so, uh, oh, where's that new season at, though? I don't think that thing coming. I don't think that thing coming. <laughs> <laughs> I love the honesty. I think that thing. I love the yeah. Fucking Zendaya's out here playing tennis and shit. Yeah, nah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 